First at five, breaking news out of Palm Beach. One woman under arrest for breaching not one, but two security checkpoints that turned into a police pursuit and shooting just outside President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. That security scare happening hours before the president is expected to arrive. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live in West Palm Beach where authorities just gave an update. Kerry. Well, the main takeaway from that update is that investigators do not believe that this incident had any connection with terrorism. Take a look at some video. Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says 30-year-old Hannah Romehild acted strangely at the Breakers Hotel. That's about four and a half miles north of Mar-a-Lago this morning. Investigators say she was dancing on top of her car. We're told that a trooper who was working a security detail tried to talk to her and the woman drove off. That led the trooper on a pursuit down A1A, touching at sometimes up to 70 miles per hour. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw with Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says the woman drove through two security checkpoints in front of Mar-a-Lago. Officers fired on her car, but she drove away and was not injured. A Florida Highway Patrol officer arrested the woman at a hotel a short distance away. And investigators say at this point there appears to be no connection to terrorism. In fact, Bradshaw said definitively this is not a terrorist thing. He said it looks like this is a person who is driving recklessly and endangering the public and law enforcement officers. Now, we are told that Hannah Romehild is in custody. Investigators do hope to speak with her. They also plan to search her car and her hotel room. And again, President Trump was not at Mar-a-Lago this morning when this incident unfolded outside of it. In Palm West Palm Beach, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.